Hello and welcome to the 64th video in this series program of Chess Engine in C. So after the small diversion in the last video unfortunately to clean up a couple of nasty little bugs we've found we can carry on in this video with the move ordering. So I've compiled what was essentially from chapter 62 but with the fixed bugs from 63 which don't really affect the search at the moment or very minimally. I've compiled and run the program and searched to a depth 6 and we've got 642,000 nodes and that's with obviously our ordering of the captures. So let's go into movegen.c and the first thing I want to do is add 1 million to the capture score like this way and also of course don't forget to do it to the on percent capture as well and the reason for this is is because we're going to be adding in the history, the history heuristic, the killer moves and the PV move as well, the principal variation move. And killers I'm going to give a score of 900 and 800,000 because they'll be scored below captures and the history heuristic will rarely run above 800,000 I would have thought. We can always add a check in much later for that. Um, and because that's the order we want things in then the million added to the capture score make sure they're searched before killers. So let's have a look at the killer moves. So go into alpha beta and a killer move is essentially a move that's caused a beta cutoff but isn't a capture because we're already ordering captures high up. So we'll say that if the move, because we've had a beta cutoff and, and we use move flag capture, if it's not, so if it gives a zero result when it's bitwise ended with a capture, so if it's not a capture, then we'll say our search position, I just want to find, I think it's called search killers, yep, search killers. So we'll say the position search killers, and we always maintain two indexed by naught and one, and every time we add one, we add it at the index naught and put what was in naught into one, so it just shuffles it down. So, and that's also indexed by the ply, equals naught ply, and then all we need to do now is take this one and set it equal to the move. So we'll just put an equal in here and the move like this. And this adds already our killers in, and this is non-captures that are causing beta cutoffs at this depth into the search. So I'll go back into move gen now, and let's actually inside the adding of a quiet move, add in the scoring for this. So we'll say, I'll just go back to search.c and copy this. We will say if the killer at naught, so the first slot, the best slot, equals the move we're adding, then we'll score this killer and we'll say else and we'll have another if and otherwise try and score the next killer, the second in the list, otherwise we'll simply score the position as a naught, a zero, where we'll be adding our history heuristic later on but for now we'll just keep this like this. And the scores that we want to give, as I've said, are we'll give 900,000, oops, it's 9 million, for the first killer and 800,000 for the second. So remember, captures have a million, so we're still searching captures, first killer, second killer. So let's save that now, and let's make this, and let's run it and do a search. Debug is off at the moment to make the search a bit quicker. And you can see that we've gone from 642,000 nodes down to 495,000 by recording or by updating continuously the non-capture moves that give us beta cutoffs. So now the next stage is to ask exactly the same question here. But now we're in the alpha cutoff area. So what we'll do is we'll improve our search history. Oops and its search history and this is indexed by the piece from and the two square so this will be pos and pieces and it will be the from square of the move which is best move and it will then be the two square of best move as well and we'll increment this by the depth so it prioritizes in fact, well, yes, we'll increment it by depth so that it prioritizes also moves which have occurred nearer the root of the tree. So now we've done this, we need to also with our search history, and I'll copy this line as well, 
add the score on instead of this zero here. So first of all we want exactly this pieces from and the two square for move and it adds simply the score on in this way. So that should be fairly self-explanatory. So now we've saved that, let's make and run again and see if we get any improvement on the 495 using some history heuristic as well. So I'll run vice and search and now we're down to 469 so we've had another improvement, not significant because we're dealing with just the alpha cutoff moves but an improvement nonetheless. Now the next improvement we can make which is a really important improvement is in search itself and we'll put here something called a PV move and we'll set this equal to no move. No we won't, we'll set it equal to probe I can't remember what the function's called now, I think it's called probe PV is it or probe PV table. So we'll probe our principal variation table with our position and see if we get a move. If we do we're in the main line, the best line. So we'll say if PV move is not equal to no move, so we have a principal variation move, then even though it's a bit of extra calculation, it's worth it. Let's loop through our moves. Because remember, if it's our principal variation, we're more likely going to get a good cutoff here. So we'll loop through our PV moves, uh, our moves in the move list, and if we find our PV move, so let's take a move. So we'll say if equals the PV move, then we'll score this 2 million. We'll search it first above all moves. So we'll take the score and set that equal to 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, like this, and then we'll break because we've already found the PV move and save. So now let's go back in and make this once more and run it and search. And now we're down, down to 346,000 nodes. So the captures had us at 642, but adding in killers, the history heuristic, and the principal variation move has dropped us nearly nearly 50% of the original nodes, nodes just ordering captures. So we've got a really good start there. The only thing to note, I've already said, I think, is the ordering percentage is extremely high because we're benefiting from, well, two things. One is the horizon effect, and the other one is our evaluation function is so small that it's very clear to the program what move is best in every single position. And we'll be changing that a little bit later. Good, so that's it for this video. In the next video, now that we've cleaned out the move jabin bug and added these things in, we can start to add in the quiescent search to remove the horizon effect. So thanks very much for listening. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.